So as part of the topic on redox reactions, this video is going to be on balancing ionic equations. So starting off with an example, if we are asked to write an overall ionic equation for permanganate reacting with chromium-3, what we need to do first is write half equations for each. So we need a half equation for the reduction of permanganate and a half equation for the oxidation of chromium-3. So these are the two equations that I showed you how to write in my previous video. So what we need to do next before we can add the two together is to make sure that the number of electrons are balanced. So we need to have the same number of, ele of electrons in both equations. So the first equation, if we multiply that by 6, and the second equation, if we multiply that by 5, that gives us 30 electrons in both equations. So now that we've got the same number of electrons in both, they now cancel each other out and we can add them together. And the reason we do this is because overall ionic equations do not contain electrons. So if we cancel out the 30 electrons in both equations, this is what we get when we add the two together. So now if you notice on both sides of the equation we have H plus and water and so this equation can be simplified further by cancelling those out. So from the left hand side uh, we've got 48 H plus. If we subtract 48 H plus from the left and Let's do the same on the right. We are left with 22H+. Plus. And then if we take away 24 water from both sides, then on the left hand side we have 11 water remaining. So by doing that, this is our overall balanced ionic equation.